That is super rare. Those green tubes are super rare. You're never going to see another uh, multi-tool like that. I mean, look at that. That's crazy. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and today I'm going to show you how to get a super rare multi-tool. This thing is so awesome. It's an experimental multi-tool, which means it focuses on mining and scanning things, okay? So, before we get too deep into it, I want to give credit where credit is due. You know I'm always over on the NMS Coordinates Exchange over on Reddit. I always am trolling, not trolling, but I'm going through the NMS Coordinates Exchange. And specifically, I saw this uh, post from Kanta Owns. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Kanta Owns. He's the one who found this. All credit goes to him. I'm just showing you how to do it. So, first you're going to need to know all the glyphs and you need to find a portal if you don't know how to do that. Link up top and down below in the description to a recent video, an updated video that I just did a couple days ago on how to do this. It's easy, totally can do it, so go use that if you don't have a portal or the glyph. So let's jump in here. Oh, I have to reload this. Give me a second. All right, so that is done. I don't know what triggers that because I've been using this portal forever. And it just feels like at random, every once in a while, I have to reload all of my uh, my glyphs. I have to recharge them, and I don't know why. So let's get in here. This is an important thing that you guys want to know. So either pause the video or uh, take a screenshot, whatever you want to do when I'm done. But here we go. It's going to be bird. Bird. The weird face. The diplo. The triforce. The Trivial Pursuit, and another Trivial Pursuit. The Spider, or the Beetle, whatever you want to go with. The Face. The Whale. And then the Flux Capacitor. And one more Flux Capacitor. So those are the coordinates, and again, all credit goes to Kanta Owns. Kanta Owns, he's the one who found this. I'm just showing you guys how to do it, all right? So let's go over there. Oh yeah, before we go, remember, you have to be in Euclid and turn off your multiplayer. So go into your multiplayer or your pause settings, make sure to go to network and make sure your multiplayer is disabled because if there's more than one person going for it, the person ahead of you could go take it before you even get there and you won't, you'll have to wait 24 hours for it to respawn again, okay? So just save yourself the headache, disable your multiplayer, and make sure you're in Euclid, the starter galaxy. And hey, let's go. And it looks like we have a, uh, a storm over here as well. Awesome. So what you need to do is you need to jump into your starship. The first thing you do, get in your starship and let's get out of here, okay? Because in order for this uh, multi-tool to actually load and appear, you have to go to a specific planet and you have to reload a save on that planet. So what we are looking for is, I'm thinking it's way over there. Let's see. Now, the easy way to check for this is you're looking for a specific planet. Press down on your D-pad, go all the way over to the gear icon and then go to first person mode because your little uh, radar in the center of your screen right there, it'll show you where the planets are. Yeah, look, at there's a planet over there. This planet is the one I landed on. That's why it's the biggest. But I mean, we have planets all over the place. You can see where they're at. And most of the time they will be hidden behind the planet you just came from. So you need to travel a little with little ways out so you can kind of get away. And specifically, we are looking for this planet right here. It's called Latiri G49. Now, it might be named something different depending on which platform you're on. Like, it'll be different if you're on Xbox versus PlayStation versus PC. It depends on who gets there first. So, what you're looking for is... The planet will always be the same. It might just change the name of it. So, what you're looking for is a paradise planet with a star bulb, copper, paraffinium, and magnetized ferrite. And I believe it's orange. So, we'll get a good look at this. Yeah, it's orange with red oceans. That's the planet you need to look for. I mean, it could be named Latiri G49. That would make it easy. But if it's not, like if you can't find that name, look for that specific planet type. Paradise planet with like orange or yellowish grass and red oceans. So 
So let's get down there and we'll make a, a save real fast. This one has a storm going too. Wow, okay. Let's land right here. Yeah, maybe orange. Yeah, that looks orange to me. That could just be the filter of the uh, planet as well, so who knows? And I gotta get out of first person, it's throwing me off here. So, this is the planet you land on. It doesn't matter where you land, just land on the planet. And once you leave your starship, it creates an autosave for you. So let's get out. Look at that, it says restore point saved. Perfect. Now we have to just reload that save and we're good to go. So let's go into our main menu, go to options, and reload your last autosave right here. So let's do that. There we go, we are back. We just reloaded the autosave. So now that we've reloaded, the multi-tool should appear at the space station. You have to go to the space station in order for it to be there. So let's hit that space station real fast. Where's it at? Of course, it's right next to the planet I just came from. You can see that's where my portal is. Okay, let's hit. That planet's purple too, I like it. Let's go to the space station. Now, you don't have to do anything special in the space station. All you have to do is make sure that you land on that special planet, that specific planet back there, Ligari G49 or whatever it was. Make sure you land on there and create a save and reload a save on the planet. You can't leave the planet. Once you've done that, all you have to do is come up here. Let's come over to this uh, multi-tool box. And it should be in here. There it is. Look at that. Perfect. Let's see what it is. So there you go. And what makes it rare is these green tubes. You see those green tubes? Usually they're black. They're just rubber tubes. On this one, it's green. Very, very cool. And it comes preloaded with a scatter blaster. I always recommend a scatter blaster. You can get rid of that blaze javelin unless you prefer it. I think the scatter blaster does a better job. And then you have your bolt caster, of course. But it has some good upgrades in it. But look at that damage potential. 3,699. 3, That's pretty good. And a scanner range. Yeah, let's compare it. And this one costs 7 million units. Mine, on, mine only costs 5 million. What? How in the world is that possible? And it has maximum number of slots, so you don't even have to worry about upgrading it. It's an S-Class. There's no need to upgrade. You just have to bring 7 million bucks with you, unless you're going to trade in your old multi-tool. Now, I have to trade mine in because you're only allowed to have three multi-tools at a time. You only can have three. And so I already have three. I'm maxed out. So I have to change, exchange mine in, which means I'll, you know, I'll get the new one. I, I should have to pay money, but I guess not. Look, it doesn't make me pay any money. I, okay, let's see. That did not cost me any money. Wow. I wonder why that is. All right, but yeah, look at that. That is super rare. It is a uh, experimental, which means that it's going to have better scanning and uh, mining abilities. But look at those tubes. That is super rare. Those green tubes are super rare. You're never going to see another uh, multi-tool like that. I mean, look at that. That's crazy. So hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading videos all the time on No Man's Sky. And I will see you guys next time.